everyone. I hope all is well with you on this amazing Friday. Uh, well, today I have a taste for some baked fish. So I wanted to show you all a simple and easy way, one of the ways that I make my baked fish. I stopped by the local seafood market yesterday and I got me some, some red drum and I also got me some red snapper fish, okay? But with this recipe, of course, you can use any fish that you want. All right, so let's get started. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and take a couple of pieces of my fish and lay them here. I'll get the other piece of red snapper. I'm gonna put just a little oil on each side of my fish and make sure you do both sides. All right, now we're gonna put our seasonings on our fish. I am going to use today a garlic and basil seasoning. So I'm gonna take my fresh basil and I'm gonna add some of that on my fish. I'm gonna add some fresh garlic to my skillet. So when we sear in our flavor, we're gonna sear in the garlic and we're gonna sear in the basil. And I'm gonna put a hint of ginger just a hint of ginger. That's a little more than a hint, huh? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna add a little salt and pepper, which I kind of just mixed together in my little, I'm sorry, could y'all see that? So you would just add whatever seasonings that you feel comfortable with adding to your fish. And just pat that down a little bit. All right, so let's get over to our skillet. So in my skillet, I'm gonna add a little butter, a little bit of oil. I'm using, I'm using canola oil. You wanna add your fresh garlic or you can add garlic if you want to. And then I have a few red peppers I'm just gonna saute. So we're gonna let this cook for about, I'm gonna cook these uh, peppers for about three minutes. All right, so after a few moments, that garlic is smelling so good. I'm gonna start laying in my fish. And once we get it in the skillet, we'll go ahead and season the other side. So once you get it laid in there, you go ahead and add your seasonings to that side. Okay, so we got our seasonings on that side. Now because my fish is thick the way it is, I'm giving mine, I gave mine about three minutes on one side. So now I'm gonna go ahead and turn it, as you can see. And all we're doing is just locking in that flavor. That basil and that garlic, it smells amazing. That ginger, I can smell it. So I'm gonna give it another couple of minutes and then we're gonna pop it in the oven. Okay, now I'm gonna put my fish in the oven for another seven minutes. And then when we come back, I'll show you all the finished product. Now feel free to continue to cook yours in the skillet if you wanna do pan fried or pan cooked rather. Um, or you can just season your fish and put it right in the oven. You don't have to sear in the flavor, so make sure you keep that in mind. Okay, so our fish is done, so I'm going to go ahead and plate it so I can have a bite. Okay, you all, so here is the finished product, and the pasta here is just some butter garlic pasta I made with a little spinach in it. And I added those red peppers that I cooked with the fish, honey. Let me try to <laughs> get some so y'all can see. And this is a piece of that red snapper. I don't know if you like red snapper, but it's really delicious. Can y'all see that? And I got that pasta with it. Let me get a bite. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Woo! That is good, honey. That basil was the perfect choice with this fish. It's just a perfect blend. Oh my gosh, somebody gotta try this. Oh, 
It is so delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Ah! It just made me want to holler, y'all. It is so good. I can't stop eating. Whew, somebody pray for me. Well, I want to thank y'all for watching. Please, if you try, let me know. Let me know, honey. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. This is good. Mmm. And you have a wonderful, blessed rest of your day.